My name is Dair Vergara. I'm a director at Everest, and I want to talk to you about MAGMA and DSI. As SIs at Everest, we have worked with the telecom operators for quite an amount of time. In commercial areas, financial, customer ops, and of course, the network. In the network, we have played a role mostly in OSS, and that's great. I really like uh, the automation you can drive with OSS, the, 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 the way in which systems can really change the way in which we do stuff and the ways in which we um, manage the different processes that involve the network. But we have always tried to go a lot deeper inside of the network to actually deploy network solutions because we have typically been seen as a system integrator, we have been seen mostly as software engineers that will only deploy the things that have been already built. With Magma, we have really seen an opportunity to change this. And I want to go through main, the, the main three things in which we, we believe that are key to understand how Magma changes the way in which the telecom sector does things, specifically for the SI. The first thing will be the ways in which we see Magma helps connect the unconnected. The second thing will be to understand the simplicity that Magma brings to SIs, that which uh, helps us in, in playing a, a more important role. And the third thing will be the disruption it represents for the whole um, telecom um, sector. So how is it that Magma helps connect the unconnected? Of course, you find yourself, um, I don't know, going into Magma, the different assets, and trying to understand what it does. And you find yourself understanding that it's actually a portion of the networks that was open sourced. So that is really important for the telco sector because it will help in defining new ways to deliver services. So it, will, it actually enables ways to implement services that were typically harder to implement, for example, to um, uh, rural use cases, you will find yourself finding, for example, um, uh, low low uh, ARPU uh, use cases um, in which you will uh, you will need to implement a, a not so cost effective platform to deliver that service to end customers. With Magma, you can do so because you can actually think about your solution and be able to actually define what are the specific needs of that specific sector you want to attain and implement a customized solution for that that will complain not only with technological issues but also with financial and uh, business uh, uh, issues that, that you want, might find yourself um, going through with traditional solutions. The second thing is the simplicity for the SI. So we have, we have found a, a lot of learning uh, uh, while, while using Magma because we really see that it uh, has an architecture that helps you understand the different pieces that really simplifies how, to, how, how they connect to one another. The concept of abstractions is really, really interesting to, to understand. It's really, really interesting to, to, to see how that makes you able, as a system integrator, to play with the core network. So with that in mind, you can uh, have more uh, power uh, inside the different solutions because you can build things on top of Magma and also find new and more, more, more efficient ways to build whatever is on the bottom of the, the, the uh, for example, the access gateway or the orchestrator or, or, or even the federation gateway to connect with the rest of the, rest of the network. So that is really important for an SI to have such architectures and to have that in, op in an open source fashion. And the third thing, of course, is the disruption it uh, represents, not only for operators, but also for verticals. When we say uh, the telecom sector, it is no longer only telco operators, it is no longer only SIs, it is no longer only vendors, but also the verticals. So it is a disruption because you can find an open source solution that has a, a really clean code, a really important way to implement it uh, in terms of uh, uh, how modern it is and uh, gives you a lot of control on, on how things are done and, and how to do more things on top of it. Uh, it, is, it is also important to keep in mind that it's really easy to integrate with the rest of the telco operators, in the case of telco operators, um, 
existing infrastructure because it, it was already a, a thought. So you, you can find uh, yourself uh, building uh, things that are really simple to implement because it uh, has components to actually do that, to actually integrate with the rest of the solutions. And of course, the, uh, in, in that specific point, the, the things that has to do, for example, ways to integrate the data, ways to integrate the metrics, ways to integrate the, the, the alarms, it is really easy. As again, we, we have uh, always a solution, for example, at Everest that connects seamlessly to Magma because we understand how it's built from the core, not only, not only the interfaces. And the last thing that I find really, really important to point is that we have seen, actually seen, that it uh, dramatically increases or, or enhances time to market. So you will find yourself as a size uh, or, a, or as an operator, of course, that wants to have an SI to do, to do things with them. Um, you, you will find that the, times of, the time to market will be increased because Magma helps in uh, having more control on what the SI, the operator, and the vendor actually, the different vendors of other solutions can, uh, um, for example, from software solutions also, uh, can, can, can know how, how things actually happens internally and find simple ways to do many things. So you can find uh, yourself building, I don't know, a private network really easy for 5G, or you can find yourself building a, um, a 4G for fixed wireless access also really easy. And you can find yourself actually getting into the Magma code and changing the way the way it works so that it does things a little bit differently to what they do right now. So you have full control of everything. You can participate in the different communities. It's an open community, of course. And of course, you can help tech operators and verticals to reach their important use cases to connect the unconnected and to drive revenues and of course also margins. Thank you very much. This is Dario Vergara from Everest. Have a nice